Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use batch search and replace paths. This script is useful for when you have to um, change the uh, path to lots of uh, projects. So for example, you move the, an entire job from one server to another server, from one job folder to another job folder. Uh, you can also use it to say batch rename uh, file. So for example, uh, and this is what I'll show you guys an example. Let's say for example, this project here has scene 102. Uh, and I want to replace all of these scene 102s with scene 101. So <clears throat> and the way you want to work with it first is you want to run it in test mode first. So I'm going to click test mode. Notice how the do it button is grayed out. That's because nothing's been entered here. As soon as I enter something to search, uh, it becomes active. But you can also turn on test mode, um, which automatically says generate log, because what test mode does is it just generates a log. So if you hit location and you go, say, desktop, it will automatically tell you up here in the info window that it's going to save the location, uh, the log at the desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, do it. Uh, I'm going to choose this um, <clears throat> folder here in this case it only has one project file but it could have you know hundreds and they they could also have subfolders um, and it would search them as well if you have the uh, recurse subfolders checked anyway so let's go ahead and do this one project it says it finished processing um, the log location is on the desktop so if I go to the desktop there's a little test report and if I open that you can see that um, the reason you want to do this is because you want to see how After Effects sees the project. So on Mac, this is what a project looks like. On Windows, um, this path will look different. And and notice how here there's forward slashes. If I do use XML project, which uses a new feature in CS4, which saves the project out as an XML file and then does the search and replace on the XML file, which is a lot faster. But if you do this as a test, you can see that the path looks different. It uses um, colons instead of forward slashes to indicate the path. So you just want to make sure that you run a test so that you see what your paths look like. And then once you know what your paths look like, then you can do a search and replace. So for example, um, let's say that I wanted to move this scene 101 folder and I just wanted to rename it scene 102 well the easiest way to do that um, or, or like some let's say let's say that the uh, this job folder was changing to a new date so I could for example just change this here and um, so I could go from 1210 or, or actually let's do something a little more complicated let's say that scene 101 folder got moved up here to this folder here okay so um, I'm gonna now change the path so instead of the path being uh, all the all of this all the way to scene 101 I'm gonna copy that path and I'm gonna go back into the script and I'm gonna paste that into the search and then by the way you can expand this so you can see the whole thing then I'm gonna paste it and now the new folder is just inside rebranding projects so um, I basically have to get rid of all of this and then just go straight to scene 101 right so I am basically updating this to this now it's gonna now I'm gonna take it out of test mode and I'm gonna go ahead and say do it pick the folder that has the projects and now it's finished so now um, now I have a new project now notice this guy this new extension AEPX um, it's exactly the same it still opens up as a new project file notice here now the new file path is the new shorter file path it uh, it's an exactly the same normal uh, now when I save this I can go ahead and save as and save it as a normal uh, project file and you would have a normal project file now so I have AEPX or AEP it makes no difference um, it's just this AEPX is a new file format in CS4 if you don't have CS4 or you don't want to work with this updated project file let me delete these um, you can also do the exact same thing just turn off use XML and when you go ahead and do it um, and so then here is your updated project um, demo updated that AP and um, 
you can see it's got the updated project. There's a few other options. You can um, use uh, recurse folders, which will mean that if it encounters any subfolders in the original folder where you select the projects, it will dig into the subfolders and process any projects that it finds in there. And then Ruse, use reject, it uses a regular expression syntax. If you know what that is, it's a very powerful um, language to do very complex um, pattern matching when you're doing your searches. Uh, so if you know how to use that, go ahead and check that. Um, most people probably don't know how to use it, so I would say just stick to standard search and replace, which is just normal. And then um, I've already explained test mode. So that's it, batch search and replace paths.